of your own free choice, will you take Rachel to be your wife? I will. Will you love her, comfort her, honor and protect her in sickness and in health, in poverty and prosperity, and forsaking all others? Be faithful to her as long you both shall live. Yes. Rachel, of your own free choice, will you take Harry to be your husband? Yes, I will. Will you love him, comfort him, honor and protect him, obey and serve him in sickness and in health, in poverty and prosperity, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. I will. Because of you. Because I love you. I know. The Bible says he that finds a wife, mm -hmm. finds a good thing, mm -hmm. and obtains favor from the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> favor in good measure, right? Mm -hmm. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Shake him together. And running run over. <laughs> That's how I'll keep running over. <laughs> you know, with, with my pranks. I'll keep running over my pranks, no jokes. Wait, wait, that was <laughs> Okay? Come, come, babe. You've had enough, okay? It's time to sleep. Let me have my phone. Oh, let me have my phone. Let me have my phone. Babe, it's time to sleep. Don't you feel like you're talking to a nine-year-old child? See, <laughs> you're talking to the latest pilot of a new airline. Hey, <laughs> oh, it's well You're talking to a pilot for crying out loud. Hey, it's well <laughs> Captain! Wait. Captain! Oh, uh, wait! <laughs> Until you own your own airline, you can stay awake as long as you desire. But here, my husband sleeps early. Hmm. Yes. I pity my four kids. Hey, eh? my four kids are in trouble. Hey, for what? 
Oh, sorry. I pity my three kids. My three <laughs> kids are going to be a pain. <laughs> hey, ah. hey, look at you. That's how you men talk. But you forget that it's I that will bear the brunt of bearing them, mm -hmm. feeding them, mm -hmm. baiting them, mm -hmm. and also watching over your little army of rascals. Oh, you're naming all these stores. Pretending like that is not what you've always wanted, yeah? Uh -uh, pretend now. <laughs> oh, those I can't wait, Tony. Mm -hmm. I can't, so I can't, I can't wait. wait. Yeah, of course. What? <laughs> you can't wait. A future father. I know you can't wait. Can't you see? Yeah. When you have someone like me. Okay, deep man. <laughs> Please let me sleep. <laughs> eh? Sleep? Please. Put your daddy lead us in prayer. Oh. Now pray. Oh yeah, prayer. Oh. I will pray, I will pray. Okay, let's pray. Father Lord, we thank you. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the blessing of work. Thank you for food. I thank you because you are God. Father, I say as Isaac prayed over his wife, Rebecca, so I pray over my wife, Rachel, that you bless our womb. Amen. You bless us with fruitfulness. Amen. So we'll have increase in every aspect of our life. Let's take our first note. So go. So oh God, our help in ages past. Unison, everybody ready? One, two, go. Oh God, our help in ages past. <laughs> Direct. 
Lord, great is your faithfulness. Yes, Lord. Great is your faithfulness, oh God. Yes. We are calling upon you because it is you that is faithful. Yes, Lord. And in your faithfulness, you reward all that calls on your name. Father, yes, we are calling upon you this moment. Yes, our heart is heavy, but it's only you that can make it light. <laughs> oh, say, oh God, I should call upon you that you answer so that our joy will be full, our joy will be complete, oh God. We are calling upon you because your word says uh, that children uh, are the heritage of the Lord uh, yes, and Lord. the fruit of the womb is our reward, oh yes, God. It's Lord. our reward tonight, oh God. Uh, Father, that you say there shall be no buried in the land, oh God. Uh, but I declare and I declare uh, that you water this family with your Amen. gift of fruitfulness, Amen. oh God. Uh, and I decree by your Amen. word, oh God, uh, they that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Uh, we are saved from every spirit of barrenness, oh God. Uh, I break every yoke of barrenness. Uh, and we
Forty-five. Oh. <laughs> One like Bola. How are you doing? Hey. Do you know I've been married for seven years, but I'm still stuck with you calling me holy pilot. Man, come I'm on, married. Come on, Harry. Don't tell me that sometimes you do not think about staying on Rachel with these flight attendants. No, no. They are craving no, for that's you. That's a big lie. They are craving <laughs> for you, man. Lie. I don't do that. <laughs> Actually, a pilot is to have a girlfriend in every major airport terminal in Nigeria. What do you think? I think that's yes? wrong. No, yes, wrong. wrong. Come on, come on. Not everyone thinks or acts like you, you know. See. Not every pilot messes around with air hostesses. Strong. Well, when I become president, I will implement that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's no, funny. No, this is a big joke. Huh? I'm it's telling you. Joke. I'm not joking. It's a big joke. Yeah, bro. Actually, uh, let me take a look at this. Okay. I just got uh, another mail, an official mail yesterday. A coin. Harry. Harry. Yeah. You know you cannot continue asking me to cover for you, right? You know that, right? Come on. The airline is beginning to notice your absence. Um, well, I just want to say thank you. I, I appreciate your efforts and your support. But you know what my family is going through. I too have a family of my own. I too have a family of my own and I understand you perfectly. But you see, you cannot continue skipping flights. You cannot continue skipping flights. Harry, if you continue skipping flights, you will not be promoted. And you of all people should know that you're due for promotion. The position in which you are is the position that every young pilot will kill to have. Yes! Let her have it. I'm not complaining. Come on, Harry. Come on. It doesn't work that way. You know that one has to be actively in service for a long period of time before he or she will be due for promotion to start flying the international planes. Bala, what would you have me do? Hmm? You know what my family is going through. You know what my wife is going through after she lost our baby. Bro, I need my family. I need to be with my family. Harry, I understand. And you know I've been sticking out my neck for you for a long time. I've done it over and over and over and I'll do it again. But the problem is the bosses. They will eventually begin to ask questions. Wow, bountiful beauty. Baby, you're looking so delicious. Oh, come on. Good morning, Harry. Hi, uh, good morning. Uh, the manager said I should call you. All right, I'll be with you shortly. All right. The manager. Harry, you have had your friend Bala covered for you not less than 47 flights in five years. Yes, sir. Sir, my wife has been going Harry, through so much. you've been excusing yourself from your duties lately. Sir, my family. This is an airline, Harry. We have to be in business. Keep your family issues to yourself. No more covering up for you from now on, Harry, without a valid reason. There are so many jobless people out there who will kill to have a job like this. I know, sir, but... That will be all. Yes, sir. That is not what I meant. I'm only saying that you're not taking your duties as my wife seriously. And that's enough reason for you to get yourself a girlfriend. Office assistant. Anna, as if you don't know Tolu in our office. How many times do I have to tell you that I am not cheating on you? That's what you men say. Once we start betting kids, you stop seeing us as attractive and run after every small bimbo in skirt. Look here, woman. I am not cheating on you. I'm not surprised. You get all paranoid and make up stuff <laughs> just so we can fight. Now it's my fault our marriage is failing, Ima. 
When was the last time you touched me? I haven't touched you in months. And why should I when every time I, you get pregnant? It takes two. Two to make a baby. You haven't been careful either. Six kids. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. With two sets of twins. I bet you don't know what that means. Amen. Six school fees. Why you know they keep safe window like every other woman? When you were fasting and praying and kabashing to God in our first year of marriage, sure you forgot to ask him of safe window. Jesus. Oh, my oh my God, they want to be picking. Not be the same God on the side. You think I want this? You think I came to this world to be a baby factory? I had a life too, you know. Before you came with your promises and ruined it with getting me pregnant every year. Yes. Oh, okay. Mm. Mr. and Mr. Adewale, your session is over now. I guess I'll see you next week. Only if I get to sign the divorce papers. I can't stand being under the same roof with this maggot. Okay, so I am a maggot Before now. Before I come. Bring the paper, make we sign them now, now. You see, sometimes couples get into heavy fight like this before their final decision. But in most cases, they end up back together. So, take your time and really think split up by next week. I will prepare the papers at once. How is that? Oh, the man. Very nice. Nice one. Go see what I love. The battle of your young man here. Madam, thank you very much. Stop me from having oh, my baby then. Ah. Stop, stop. You just invite me. Okay? Just no. No. no, no, baby, my dream. Let's record in the name of Jesus. What I call for you right now. I pray for peace. I pray for peace. Pray that you comfort my wife in the name of Jesus. But I come against every spirit, every power, every principality, every demonic power, be it in the air, water, sea. Father, oh God, wherever they are tormenting my wife, I pray, oh God, that their power will be null and void in the name of Jesus. I bring them to naught in the name of Jesus. I call upon the name of Jesus. That name that is greater than every other name. The word say, at the name of Jesus, every knee bows. And every tongue confess that Jesus is the Lord. Father, oh God, I release the power of the Holy Ghost. I will have a I surround this house. Let your blood be able to speak. I will have a shot. 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 I
let us pray. Our gracious Father, we are trusting you that you send forth your word to minister to everyone in this auditorium. May their life never remain the same. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I am led to preach on this topic, why now? Why now? The question you are asking yourself, why now? Why is these things are happening to me now? By this time, I'm supposed to be out of this country, but now I'm not making headway. Why now? I want to clear your doubts with this passage, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 21, and it says that your faith and hope might be in God. Not in that challenge, not in that problem, but in God. Most times we remove our eyes from whom we need to focus to. And we are looking at our problem as if our solution lies in realizing our problem. Why now? Why am I sick? I've been taking all medication, but nothing is work. It's an attack on your faith. By now, I'm supposed to carry my own baby but I'm not having any sign. It's an attack on your faith. Not just only on your faith, but to the entire Christian dawn. That's why you need to focus and look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. I conclude with this. Hebrew chapter 10 that it says, now the just shall live by faith. Not by looking at your problem, not by looking at your situation, not by weeping or going to a native doctor. No. But the just shall live by faith. Is a now thing. That is to say that faith is a general currency. If that marriage is not working, that means you have not gathered the capacity or the faith you need for it. If that business is not working, that means you have not gathered the capacity or faith you need for it. If that child is not forthcoming, you have not gathered the capacity or faith you need for it. I pray before the service we end, you will gather enough capacity of faith to challenge every mountain standing before you in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Sister Rachel, this is just a period of trial. You overcome. Reverend, this wasn't what God promised me. He said he would bless me with the fruit of the womb in one month of our wedding. And now, this is seven years after marriage. Rachel, God is never late. Ecclesiastes 3.11 says that he make all things right in his own time. Seven years with six miscarriages. Six. This is too cold for me. I know, Sister Rachel. The Bible didn't say it's going to be easy. It is says it's going to be possible. Increase your faith and hope. Reverend, I'm beginning to lose my faith. Mm, Sister Rachel, Joel 2.25 says that it's going to restore all the years the locust has eaten. I am pregnant again. That is it.
Mrs. Okafo, we have examined you. We've also taken samples of your blood. But your blood pressure keeps increasing. And from the test results, it shows that there's a dysfunction in your kidney. What? Yes. Having history of hypertension in the past, it shows that that is the main reason of your multiple miscarriages. And even this new pregnancy has developed some health risk. Doctor, please, can you go straight to the point? Mr. Okafo, your wife's pregnancy has never reached the 28 weeks mark in the past. Our body is even struggling to keep up. What are you even saying? What I'm trying to say is this. If we choose to keep this pregnancy, it might affect your wife and the baby. God forbid. So I will advise a clinical termination. Six miscarriages, doctor. Six in seven years. And now, one has finally stayed. Are you telling me to abort it? No. No. Just relax. Mr. and Mrs. Okafo, I'm so sorry. But my point is this. We might lose her or lose the baby at the point of delivery. That is why, as your medical advisor, I have to give you the logical steps to take. But the choice is yours. I ever wanted is to be a mother. <laughs> to keep my husband a child that he will love. <laughs> Just as he loves me. <laughs> and now, God has blessed me with a cause. <laughs> Richard, don't, don't, don't ever say that, okay? Don't. Don't worry. No. God has blessed our marriage with a cause. What's your... He promised me a fruitful marriage. Listen to me. God is not a man. That he should lie. No. This is what this was a poor God promised me.
Oh, what a surprise. You didn't say you were coming. So I have to call you before I come visit him. My son's house. No, no. I'm sorry. Welcome, Mama. Let me go in first before you start sorry. asking questions. Madam, as it is right now, I am not saying she should not go anywhere she wants to go. But my children, they are not going with her. Never. You see, they Junior, are not going with her. You see, Junior and see, Zara, they are going with her. We are putting it into writing now. None of my children is, is going with her. It is not in agreement, though. If we are it putting them, we are, agreement. we are writing it you. now. Junior and you, Zara, they are going with her. You don't have the right to know them. You don't have the right to know them. You think you can take care of them? You think you can take care of them? You can go all the way to do whatever it is you want to do. See, madam, okay, okay, you, know, you are Sarah, not going with my going children. With you, she is not going. We are putting, see, madam, yeah, no, right. madam, you, madam, see, madam, see, you are not going, no, you see, not with my you are not going, but, my see, madam. God, I've come before you. See, that my marriage shall be a blessing. Children surround my table. Said I shall see my children, children. Lord, please. I know you cannot feel. Please, Lord. Lord, I've come before you. <laughs> please, Lord. Hear my cry. I have no water run to. That's how I've come before you. Oh, please. I need you to hear me. Before you say that they don't trust in you, they can never be put to shame. Where's Rachel? Oh. oh, she's at work. And she left you like this with everything that is going on? <laughs> what are we supposed to do? You know how she's feeling now. So? What about me? You? And the family legacy? <laughs> how do you mean? Harry, if it were to be in the olden times, the family would have marched in another woman into this house. Well, because we are civilized. So. <laughs> well, that's actually funny. That, that sounds so funny. Harry, does it look to you like I'm joking? Your wife had had six miscarriages in seven years. <laughs> the one she manages to carry might not even stay. She, she might die. Mom, 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 mom. I hope you're not being serious right now. It's my wife we're talking about. Yes, mom, I know we are going through a lot. But you see, the Bible made me to understand that when we cry out to him, that he hears us and delivers us from all our troubles. Yes, I know, Harry. I know what the Bible said. But not self-imposed problem. Harry, your sisters conceived and delivered with zero complications. I heard you. Your father never struggled to have children. The doctor already confirmed you to be fine. Doesn't that tell you something? No, it tells me nothing. Except the fact that I don't know where this conversation is going to. Harry. 
I've been married to your father for so many years before he died. We never had issues like this. And you know why? Because we never put our hands in anything evil. Mom. Mom. Hey, please don't mom me. Don't you mom me. Isn't it obvious, Harry? You need to wake up and do what is necessary. Your wife is cursed. And I won't sit back and watch her impose that curse on you. Mom! It's my wife we're talking about here, please. My wife. For now. <laughs> For now, Harry. Because um, time is coming when I will decide if we're going to replace her or not. Rachel. Rachel. When did she return? It was all the most important thing now. Rachel! Objection. Oh no, come on, no. See, it's only you that I love, okay? You are young. <laughs> you love me. Yes. Harry, you love me. Is that why you've been scared lately? Is that how you show your love? What are you talking about? <laughs> Harry, I barely see you. Ever since Dr. Kachi broke the news, you've been distant. Wait. Were you actually expecting me to go with her subjection? Rachel, where, where is all this coming from? I never said anything of sorts. Come on, Harry. You don't have to say. Your Courtney does it for you. <laughs> Rachel, this is not fair. Harry, pray for years. A miracle like this. No, he's here. I can't even share it with you. Because he won't even look me in the face. <laughs> that, that's not true. Listen to me. I love you. I love you so much. I don't want to lose you, okay? Actually, look. You could die. No. Yeah, surely I know this is not the plan of God for us. I, I know He's not going to give us any temptation that we cannot bear. But this, no, I can't bear it. I can't bear this. I love you. But I just feel like you're being selfish about this. Selfish, Harry. What are you being heartless, eh? It's our child we are talking about, Harry. It's our child. Child, I might never come to love if. Anything happens to you? <laughs> Rachel! Do you know the pressure I go through every single day of my life? Do you know how many times I have to dodge my mom to avoid her incessant queries? Do you know? Do you know the, the pain I go through every night just, just to make sure you don't feel the same pain, just not to scare you? Rachel! Do you know how many times I've had not to fly and allow my friend cover up for me? <laughs> you don't know! No. And you want me to come to terms that I would never get to see you because of the child? Oh, Maria. Rachel, listen to me. I can't lose the woman no. I so dearly love because of a child. Just because I want to, to, to continue my bloodline. To help with the bloodline! No, listen. You listen to me, Rachel. The child we are talking about is also my child. So if this is the only thing I am going to do to save your life, then I'm going to do it. But if you refuse to understand, no. so be it! No, Harry!
Lord. This wasn't what you promised me, oh. This wasn't what you promised me. You know that, oh. This wasn't what you promised me in Isaiah 41 verse 10. You said, fear not. For I am your God. Who can but to with the Lord? Who can but to with the Lord? Who can but to with the Lord? I say nobody. Lord, you promised to threaten me. You promised to threaten me. Yes! You said I will help you. Is that not what you said? Is that not what you said? Tell me, how is this helping me now? How is he helping me? You are the author and the finisher of our faith. You are the first and the last. You are God that sits on the third throne and makes the earth your footstool. You are the king of kings. You are the priest of peace. You are Jehovah Sikeno. You are Jehovah El Elyon. You are Jehovah El Gibor. You are Jehovah Meshkinek. Are you not the one that said that you are not a man that you should lie to? Tell me. Lord, I need you to come and help me now. Lord, I am a blessed. Lord, please come and help me. I decree right now that every power, every force that has been manifesting in this summer, I bring you to not by the name of Jesus, that name that is greater than now above every other name. He come on, let us it. He come on, let us say that, children. I My God, my God, he said, They that do know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploits. Malikele, the hours come on God, manifest yourself. <laughs> this is the devil's one, Lord. Lord, please help me. I don't want to lose my baby. I don't want to lose my baby, Lord. <laughs> Mr. Okafo. Look, where's my wife? Your wife is fine. Your baby is also fine. But from the scan result, it shows that the baby is lying abnormally. Yes. And this issue of her blood pressure is putting the pregnancy and your wife's life at risk. So, and from the result of the blood test, it shows that her kidney has been affected. She seems fine. Mr. Okafo. At this moment, we are left with no choice but to operate on your wife and bring out the baby. I don't know. She's just seven months gone. Mr. Okafor, we have no time. You don't seem to get it. We have no time. Delay will mean putting your wife's life and the baby's life at risk. So all we need right now is your consent. So we go ahead with the operation. Your consent, Mr. Okafor. I'm a 
arrest. Get the defibrillator and send the tax to 200 doors. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Ready? Clap! No response. Reposition the body and send the tax to 250 Jones. Ready? Clap! She's still in there. How Look, can she still be in there? I don't know. I, I just don't know. God. You have been merciful. God, I need you now in my family. You are a God of deliverance. You say children have blessings. Let this one be a blessing. God. You quick one like hear him. Biko. Chili kidnap. Stay fast, Leg. Administer 2 mm of loopings and set the charge to 300 Jones. Um, move, move, ready? Stop! We have pause. Blood pressure stabilizing. Good. Oh, have you had something to eat? See, I brought you something. No, no, no. I can't eat. I understand, Harry. But you need to eat something. So you'll be strong. Oh. It's been Four hours. Four hours. I don't know what is happening there. God. Mom. Nothing. Nothing should happen to my wife. Harry, you don't have to talk like that. Trust and believe in God. Everything will be fine. Please, be good now. Give me an update. Her blood pressure is dropping. Hello, Mr. Carfor. Your attention is needed. Your wife needs blood transfusion. Please follow me. <laughs> Mr. Carfor. Mr. Carfor. Baby safe. We managed to stabilize her, but she fell into coma during the procedure. At this point now, all we need to do is to monitor her vital points and ensure she's comfortable. Mr. Okafo, our recovery is in God's hands.
Baby. Baby. You did it. We now have a soul. But you need to see him. You need to see your baby. Baby. You know I can't do this anymore. I don't want to do it alone. No, I don't want to. Don't even think about it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I doubted you. God, please. God, please. Give me back my wife. I'm sorry, baby. If I work with your faith, you wouldn't have, would have to go through this alone. I'm so sorry. I love you so much. I love you so much. Go back to me. God, I thank you. I thank you for the gift of this child. I thank you. Please let this be a testimony. Let my wife see her baby again. God, it's a gift that you have given to us. That the gift of a child is a blessing unto us. I'm begging you. Baby. All I want is for your mother to see you. Rachel, Rachel, can you hear me?
Welcome back, Mrs. Okafo. How are you feeling? So. That's good. You really got us scared. You're truly a fighter. Harry, the baby. Mm. Don't tell me. Baby. The baby is so beautiful. I mean, it's cuter than I thought. He's a boy. Yes, he through her to meet you and I must say it's worth every pain I feel right now because you're my gift from the Lord the reward fruit of my womb Presents difficult circumstances or periods of disturbance in one's life. There can be painful lessons that follow the storm. However, we can grow stronger. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, whose Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, was baptized in the River Jordan, we thank you for the gift of the water to cleanse and revive us. We thank you that through the waters of the Red Sea, you lead your people out of the slavery and bondage to freedom in the Promised Land. Jesse Chukudum, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. has just been reported to be involved in an air crash at about 2.5 p.m. west of Gantam with no survivors. What? We'll be giving more details shortly. Jesus.
not reachable. Good. What is going on? My God, Harry. What is going on? His number is not reachable. Yes. Madam Okafo? Mala. Yes. Uh, as you know, I am from JGIYC Airline. And uh, I have news. Oh, God. Uh, uh, news concerning your husband. No. No, Bala, what happened? Uh, calm down. Calm no. down, Mrs. Okafo. Honestly. Uh, it falls on us. To tell you that uh, your husband. But what happened? Speak now. Your your husband is God. is is right behind me. Da, da, da. Yeah. <laughs> Harry, <laughs> Rama, oh, see you later. Are you trying to give me this label? I know. I just wanted to make you. Super, super high before my presence. Yeah, oh, yeah, baby. yeah. I miss you. I miss you. I'm happy. Yo. Where's my young man? He's inside. I have no second young man. Second young man. Oh, woman. Oh, twins. Come on, baby. I miss you so much. I miss you too. I'm so happy you're home. Thank God. I was supposed to fly that plane today, but as God will have it, I pleaded for a reschedule as my pastor called me on my way to the airport to come join him in prayers, which was strange and I had to oblige to. He who watches over Israel neither slumber nor sleep. It was God who just saved me and it's all due to the fact that I listened to God's direction. It's good to trust God and obey.